freak out when it starts going in your lungs. It's cold, but don't freak out. Just keep going up. Keep going, keep going. All the way, feel your lungs, and then talk right away. So it looks like a cactus. Oh, no! Cracker or cookie or candy Why? or gummy or animal cookie. Candy, please. Candy, please. Okay. What do you want? Okay. Say thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in Ueda Summer Camp, we will hear from you and hear your books that you have written yourself. I need a first volunteer. A long, long time ago, there was a little boy called David. He I will fight with you. And then he won. After the match, everyone cheered for David. When the king died, he became a king of Israel too. Monday when the week began to Sunday at its end. On Monday everyone was sleeping except Abu Ban. Abu Big Ban the, the lamp. On Thursday everyone was listening except Abu Splash. mother is sick, but they have no money. All they have is one cow. Jack goes to the market, then he meets one older mom. Jack takes a golden ham where the giant falls asleep, and Jack takes the magic harp. <laughs> Meditated on it. I have had chances to go abroad and meet a lot of foreign people, and I have come to think about this saying even more. Who is my neighbor, and what is the meaning of this saying? In last November, I volunteered with a gospel team from Uganda called Watoto. It is a team of children who lost their parents because of conflicts and diseases. I knew that the world was full of poor people. Since then, I have started to think of what I can do for them directly. Puppet. On Pinocchio's way to school, he meets a fox and a cat. Pinocchio goes to the theater. The owner puts Pinocchio in a bird cage. Pinocchio is a bad boy. On Pinocchio way back home, he meets other kids. A whale swims him, swallows him. Pinocchio meets his dad. Pinocchio says, Dad, I'm so sorry. Pinocchio saved his dad's life. <laughs> I don't 
don't like this color. I don't like that design. The king goes out to the street. People gather to see the king's new clothes. Go laugh and say, like the king is naked. Ha ha ha. The king is embarrassed and angry. His face turned red. <laughs>
Ready? Yeah. That was fun. Woo! Irish mermaid. Yeah, but just say hi to David though. Hey, guess where we are? <laughs> David. <laughs> are your friends? <laughs> I'm a person I've never met. <laughs> Breathe all the way up. Parshar, it didn't work. There's none left. Oh no! With the stop sign again. You guys have to know what a stop sign looks like though for this to be any... Okay, well, I'll, I'll just first say that a stop sign has a kanji that looks like, like yours, this and then, and then has a, a tiny little... little like well, that. no, it's straight out. It's like, yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, okay. like that. Okay. So okay. It's actually very simple, really, why a, so a cactus would be on a stop sign. Yeah. Because when you're driving, you don't want to drive into a cactus. If you see a cactus in front of you, you stop. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll either run it over and do damage to your car, or you might, even if you're close to it, you'll run over needles that it sheds and you'll pop your tire. If you're walking closer, you, you might get needles in your feet. Mm -hmm. Right. But how were they able to bring the cactus, you know, from... You know, oh, they didn't need to bring it back. They just needed to bring it back orally. Because Japan has this rich, this beautifully rich history of, of, of melodrama. Later on, they wrote it because people started to get Alzheimer's and forget. But the ancient samurai never had that. By Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, I mean, um, <laughs> right. yeah. dementia, that's the one. Alzheimer's, I think, is where you go. They had this. dementia or they didn't? Well, they started getting dementia when they got old. When they were young. So that is why there is a cactus on the Japanese stop sign. Ow. That is such a theory. Like, you, I like your... It's not a theory, it's a fact. It's a, oh, it's a fact? <laughs> I'm impressed you did your historical research. History is my favorite subject <laughs> in school. <laughs> So it looks like a cactus, <laughs> and basically the ancient samurai went to the desert 
and they they saw the cactus, but they don't want to run into the cactus. So whenever you are there, you you have to stop, right? When you see a cactus, you have to stop. Otherwise, you pop your tires or you do you damage to your car. <laughs> this feels a little weird. <laughs> I I don't know if I'm gonna do this again. Here, someone else try. <laughs> right here. Oh, in my armpit. Yeah. Could you please tell them to make a circle? A small circle? In English, no Japanese. No Japanese! No Japanese in English. Do you have lunch, Yuki? Stay up late again. You were like, hey, okay, what are we gonna do now? I complained. 
about staying up late. Like that was your job and you're there to pick up the loose ends and tie up the last pieces. Um, the good thing for me was in the morning and at night, like while we were all crazy getting ready, and then after, even after we were done the work at night, two o'clock in the morning when, when I'm getting ready for bed, then I would see you in that room with your Bible, just sitting there for a <laughs> you really long time. Pray, what are you doing with something? And she said, oh, I'm just praying. And for a really long time. And that to me was an incredible mm. challenge and it could be that difficult. I love to read my Bible, but then just to sit and talk with God is not easy for me. So thank you for being there. I just wanted to add, it's been okay. amazing getting to working with, working with you this week. Um, you jump everywhere, but you're always excited. Doesn't matter what time of day or time of night. And it's just amazing to see how you jump in with all the kids and your smile and love towards them. And it's, it's, it's awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for teaching English and Japanese. Who's awesome and crazy? But crazy one! Taking on such a big crowd. It's a challenge. And especially like with the youth ministry that you had last week. I know that was like very stressful for you. You're an excellent person. And yet you have these exuberantly high standards for yourself. And even though you're doing so well, you you struggle with seeing that. And last week, like, you did amazingly well with the youth. And I know that you didn't really feel that way. But you did. And I just want to thank you for, like, putting in your hands on 10%. Even though you felt really bad and sick and, like, you were being really hard on yourself. I did. Just thank you, like, amidst all that, like, you've been a strong leader and precise and you've been looking out for each one of us, even if we're not a lot of us. Thank you. Thank you. Did anyone? No. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. It looked nice from the side, but... You prefer only. Thank you. I got my heart broken. We did it. We totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> What's in it? It's peanut, peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. It's like jiggling. Oh, there's a chunk of peanut butter in the middle. Seriously? Yeah. You can actually try some. Give me, give me, give me. Is it in our house the whole week? <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks. What? This came from. This came from Carol. What's going on in your life? I don't know. Jump in and do this anyway. I don't think I would be able to do that. The fact that you served God and gave up your own comfort for the sake of these kids, and for the sake of this view. That's very incredible. Thank you. That's great. Mm-hmm. really hard for her to find a right teacher, a perfect teacher, who can, like, she can get along with and ask a question anytime. Yeah. So much for willing to say yes at any time, she said. But I know there are sometimes there you know you're having a hard time, you're really challenging for you, but you kept going. Mm-hmm. That was so I didn't talk such a time. really cool gem that you came right from Latvia. You mm-hmm. came right from one mis- like ministry and jumped right into another. And I love your energy and your excitement <laughs> and thank you for all the dance parties. <laughs> You've been a great, like, joy in all of our lives. Wait, wait, I mean, Dolly Burton in the car? No, no, I mean, like, we have, like, you, like, I'm gonna walk, we have, like, like this, right? And when she she started dancing, it was, like, cool, and it was fun. Yeah. And like, that was, we all know, like, how tired you were when you came, because it showed. But, like, even though it showed, like, you just kept on and, like, it did hold you back for a moment. It's really big. Just do this kind of thing and jump right in, even though, like, yeah, you came in to, like,
like a group that was already kind of like formed or like knew each other more or less and that like you were just very comfortable and like you weren't like shy at all like you just kind of for being really chill about all the giggles and laughs and, you know, accent jokes. Hey, does Sochi get that joke? No. Okay, okay. She's from Ireland, and their English is very different. Funny. Very funny. Sometimes very funny. So, power and shower in Irish English is parshar. And to us, it just sounds really funny. So all the time we laugh at her. Harsh are and hard the car. Idiot ours. <laughs> okay, okay. You think she was chill. Inside, she's plotting how to get back at home. They were washing dishes one time. And when they reached into the sink, Deanna pulled out this massive knife. Just this really big, sharp knife. Jen looks at Deanna. I don't even know how it starts, but I walked into the kitchen and I'm like, stepping up, stepping up, stepping up, stepping up. Yeah. yeah! They're all just. What did you say? You started it? I did not expect any of that. <laughs> what is it? I thought for sure it was her who said stepping up. You handed me the knife. <gasps> and then I said, where did the stepping up You start. <laughs> You're great, Jen. You're totally great. Um, on the slide with the tube, she fell and smacked her head at the end. She went and hit it really hard and got. All I want to start though. Of course you do. Yeah. Uh, like fun time together, sleeping at 12 p.m. every day, every night, talking about a lot of things. You know, talking about the Bible, and we had a we had a deep conversation about ourselves and about our family. But he started. He asked me one time if he could bore my par toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, on a serious note, um, you know, just the just the brotherhood in Christ, and uh, you know, I really encourage um, everything that I learned from you about the Bible, and um, yeah, I've shared to him about uh, my previous church, my struggles there, and then I got out, and then I had confusions about doctrine and stuff, and then he's the one who's just feeding me about. Um, about Christ and you know every word comes from his mouth um, always directs to God. I'm gonna miss you but I know you, you'll come back again next year <laughs> so I hope I hope God willing but yeah uh, thank you for that. Thank you for being the brunt of all the blame. He's just mm -hmm. been pretty relaxed and chill you know it's just like oh it's kind of fault. Yeah it's my fault. <laughs> But beyond that, like, you've been really good with um, leading <coughs> games, leading songs, and... Very really cool how... Um, same thing I said with Leah, that I can just throw stuff at you and know that you're on top of it. Jimmy, each of you is like that in some way. <clears throat> like, maybe you have the most experience with the drama stuff. It's nice to be able to count on somebody you know what they've got to add in. I don't think that, sort of I also appreciate how you were willing to be teachable like that one night when mom was here we were practicing the thing and it wasn't what you had done before and you were willing to change what you had done even though you knew the way that you liked to do it. And I think that's really important that we can be humble enough to, to do what somebody else asks and we want to do a better way of life just are used to what we do. That's hard for me to do, so I appreciate you being willing to keep learning. Everybody said it all week long, so it's not going to be a surprise, but I mean, it's just astounding the level of enthusiasm and joy that you carry all the time. There was like one day where I asked you, how are you doing? And you said, okay. And then the whole world stops. <laughs> <laughs> because Whoa! And it's just okay. <laughs> I also like
like sacrificing not going to the pool to the pool or mm -hmm. on the first day and second day. And she, she's just all smiled. They want to go to the pool. Mm -hmm. And then she, she was just smiled. <laughs> I'm good here. With Minsky and her friends was reading. Well, and I know it's I know it's not like well maybe I'm wrong. I don't think you're trying to be that way. I think it's just who you are. Am I right? Well, the highest. Every yes. just everything. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who wants to do the? <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little bit like me. one who just came kind of at the last minute not knowing anybody and just like oh can I come too <laughs> kind of thing would would end up being that person that we can all count on for that attitude and that strength that's unusual and I'm excited to see what God does with you anyway. because that's rare and really is your cool person. hey Sokyong yes you were so great this week like in class studying and reading and not just the work, you were amazing with the work. You learned so fast. Everything I told you, you did perfect. You were made, like the easiest student in the world. And actually, the rest of the day too, you were always playing the games and always uh, enthusiastic and helping us when, when kids weren't paying attention running around and then you would say okay come let's play the game and you would help us actually do our job okay it's so encouraging for us to see somebody like raising their hand or saying the words or playing the games you you're so smart you're amazingly smart and very athletic it's crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> in the games. <laughs> Won everything. Yeah. 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 All the prizes. Yeah. 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 Don't treat us as someone from Philippines or someone from Canada. We want to be a part of your life. Just want to say that. <laughs> I love you. Me too. Bye. Bye. I'll see you later. I'll be around. There were some summers that we thought we can't even do it. Or maybe summers. But even like we don't have, we don't know who, to, who is coming and like how many people, how many teachers we actually can have for the, for the camp. She always like decides to do it. So we've been doing this every year. We don't have to do it, but because this is really like an opportunity to share the gospel, and the only reason that she does this is that to share the gospel. Really not easy, <laughs> but the spiritual end of things. This is a dark place. I've said that a lot. That's true. I know, it's, it's a weird place. I don't know why the gospel is so hindered here. Japan is unique. And your faithfulness to the kids and your genuine love for them is only from Him. That's the only way to say it. Only from Jesus. But the fact that you're willing to let Him fill you with His love is unusual. And you've grown up so much since you were 16. Stop. <laughs> Whatever, I'm 11 years old. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Thank you so much for 
the hospitality has been beyond incredible. And taking us as we are, all of us, and you know, trusting each one of us to to teach your precious students. And like you were just very, you are a woman of God, and we can definitely see that. And we see your love for these children, all of them. All do we have today? 70, 70 plus and like you cared for each one of them and and their parents you were very respectful to them too and, um six years that's a long time to be doing this and i don't really see you stopping doing this anytime soon so it's just really encouraging to see um, your faithfulness So the first one was this morning. We parked like a mile away from the hotel because there were no other parking spots. And he walked out the door and he said, It's so far to the parking lot! <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It was full. His second one. No, that's it, really it, it was also this morning. He was a very bitter person this morning. <laughs> so this morning, he had another complaint. Um, so last night we couldn't figure out the air conditioning, and, and we were we were trying to, and, and he was standing by there with the remote, and, like, and it wouldn't go on, it wouldn't get cold, nothing. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna go take a power shower. You figure this out. <laughs> anyway, he went to take a power shower and threw me the remote. I, I grabbed it, and of course I don't read kanji, right? And I see a bunch of <laughs> colors, and the, there's, there's like blue, red, green, yellow. So I thought, well, maybe maybe they don't have anything, any any significance. Maybe they're just for distinguishing. So I just started pressing all the buttons, and, and any time a number would pop up, I clicked down so it went as low as possible. And it's the wrong reason. And suddenly, like before he even got into the shower, it went... <laughs> like it was on. And the title was like, so like, I can read kanji. I, yeah, I told you I read kanji. And man, you're good. And we went and took a shower and I, I fell asleep on the couch, on the bed. I don't know why, did, you got up and, and you left the room at no, one point. I went to the convenience store. Yeah, he went to the convenience store and <laughs> and he, he got back. He opened the door. It was scorching. This, this gust of oh. hot air oh. all you over him. You turned the heat on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he was like, but he was like, don't get me cut, get me cut. <laughs> that was oh, obvious. Sick. So it was boiling hot. You know, it, it's no wonder I was sweating <laughs> underneath my blanket. But I was still sleeping. <laughs> he got back and he tried to turn it off, and I think he figured it out. We still didn't get it. To actually get cold. Like, like cold. But he, he, this morning he said, Tanner, <laughs> you don't read kanji. <laughs> but, but he was like, told you I can read kanji. <laughs>